Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this lossless cooked chicken farm. This is 100% automatic and it's based on one of the most popular uploads to my channel. That is the automatic cooked chicken farm. This farm was built a long long time ago and the game has changed many times since that video was released and I've had a fair few comments from people saying they've had trouble getting that farm to work. So it's about time that we updated this to 1.8 and what I have for you right here is pretty much a flawless farm. This thing is completely lossless, it's not going to waste or burn any of the drops from the chickens, it's also going to cook every single chicken as well. And best of all, if we look to the side here, you can see that it is pretty small and very compact. So before we get into the explanation and tutorial for this farm, I must mention that this was compacted by a friend of mine, JB589. He is a redstoner who plays on my server. He is also a French YouTuber as well. If you are interested in his channel, he is one of the best redstoners that I know. Be sure to check him out. There'll be a link in the description box. But this is his work right here. He took my original farm, he compacted it, and he fixed all the flaws of it at the same time as well. So the farm has two groups of chickens. On the right hand side we have the cedar chickens. These are always there and the more of them that you have the faster the farm is going to operate. Then on the left hand side we have the baby chickens. When they grow into adults they're going to get cooked and we're going to collect all of the cooked drops. Now the chickens on the right are standing above a hopper. We go down below you can see that right here. It points into the dispenser in front of it. There's also another dispenser above that one with lava in but behind the hopper is a comparator. This uh, turns off this torch when it's activated and that is currently locking this torch burnout clock. So when an item goes into that hopper, this torch clock is going to activate a couple of times, meaning it will dispense the eggs in the dispenser in front of it and activate the lava above it as well. Now it just so happens that when it hatches the eggs, they're slightly slower than the lava above it, meaning that when the new chicken is born, there is never going to be lava above it and it's not going to get burned by the fire. Then these guys just sit here and when they grow up into adults, the lava above is going to cook them. Now because the lava is only there temporarily, it means the chickens never get sucked up into the lava below and their drops never get destroyed. There is a um, hopper below this half slab and then all of the items get picked up and they go into this chest right here. So now I can show you how to build this thing. You're going to need an area of land that is three blocks wide and six blocks deep. And the thing itself is just three and a half blocks tall. Now in this chest, we've got all of the things that you're going to need. The glass is optional. That's just so you can see the chickens at the front. You don't have to use that. And you're also going to need a chest as well. And we're going to build this farm around the chest. So behind it, we're going to put a hopper facing into it, put a half slab above that, put a temporary block back here so we can place two dispensers that are facing forward like so. Then we can remove that block. And behind this, we need a hopper pointing into the bottom dispenser. Then behind that, a block with a comparator. That's going to need a block on the back of it. And on the side of this block, we're going to have a torch, which is going to override our torch burnout clock. So two blocks like that. We're going to have a piece of redstone here, a torch there, and a block above it. That's the torch burnout clock. Then to the side of it, we're going to have a block with a piece of redstone on. Now, believe it or not, but that is the farm itself. That's all of how it works. But of course, you need more blocks around it um, to enclose the chickens inside. So we're going to put two blocks of glass above the chest three blocks on either side at the front then I think it's two blocks one there and two blocks here as well you can fill in the ones down the bottom if you want as well but what I've kind of done is the bare minimum so let's remove that one in the middle now the chickens there are going to be enclosed and the last thing to do is just to put our half slabs around the top here now I'm going to talk about a few other things to do with this farm this is where your cedar chickens would need to go but once you've got all of the chickens in there you can also um, seal this off like that as well so a couple more things to mention. In the old versions of the game there are all sorts of horrible problems with mobs glitching out of blocks and things like that. That doesn't happen anymore. That's never going to be a problem in this farm. However, hoppers themselves can still be a little bit glitchy. So what I'd recommend doing is putting down a carpet on top of that in case you have any issues with the chickens in here. But now that this thing is ready to go, you can literally throw your eggs into this bit right here. Then they'll start laying eggs and they'll go down and then the farm will be running. Now if you leave this half slab right here open and it starts raining in your world, it'll actually put out the chickens when they're on fire when they die, meaning that some of your drops in here won't be cooked. So be sure to put a half slab right there and if you're not going to throw any more eggs in here, it'll probably be a good idea to put a half slab over this one as well. 
So believe it or not, but that is all that you need to know. This farm is that simple and easy to build. And if you've enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. Your support will be greatly appreciated on this one. And again, a big thanks to JB589 for sharing this with us. It's an awesome farm, really great contraption. And there's also going to be a world download available in the description box where you can find a link to his channel as well. But that's it from me this video. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.